Hello, this is Borna from Borna.tv, and today I want to do a video talking about voice attack and how you can possibly use it on your live stream, either on Twitch.television, Twitch.tv, or on YouTube.com or YouTube Live or any other streaming site such as Beam or anything else. Uh, voice attack offers the ability to to do key compress commands as well as voice commands. It's, it's more popularly known for doing uh, macros by voice. So you say something and then it does something. But in this in this particular video, I'm going to show you how to make a simple FAQ uh, sort of a thing. Now, what I do on my stream is that I have key compresses to explain certain things. Like I have a site called loots.com and uh, I have to explain what it is every now and then. So I just have to hit a key combo and it'll actually do it. So let's show you how to do that. First, you need to download the latest ver version of voice attack Go to voiceattack.com and uh, you can get it there. There's a free trial there. Then you come here and you have a profile created. You can do it here from this button here on the profile actions. Just do create new profile. All right. And then from here, you can go to edit profile, which will open up your profile where you have a list of your commands. I have none in here. This is a blank one. And, uh, to do a new command is as simple as going up to the top and clicking new command. And this will add a new spoken command. So I can say uh, whatever I want here to trigger this, but I'm not going to do that today. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the key compress and I'm going to use control F1. Okay. Control F1 is what I use for my uh, like uh, FAQ command or a help command for loots. And you can use it for yours as well. But I just hit control F1 in this window and it actually came up with control F1. You can see it there. I can clear it uh, and do like control F2. And you can see it changes to F2, F3, F4, you know, control F1, uh, control, you know, like that. So let's go ahead and clear it and do control F1. And then I'm gonna click OK. So whenever I hit left control F1, it'll do these commands. Now you can do a ton of stuff in voice attack. I'm not gonna get into too much detail, but what I'm gonna do is do the text to speech because this is a very helpful thing for FAQs. So I'm gonna go to sounds, go to other first, and then go to voice attack action under that is sounds and say, say something with text to speech. And what you can do here is you can type in some text and it'll use your windows text to speech voice to do this. So I'm gonna say, uh, this is a test demo for a YouTube video. For more information, visit youtube.com slash user slash no slash C slash Buona. Cause I, I don't think she's going to pronounce IO buffer correct. So we're going to do that and I can preview this to see how she's going to say it. This is a test demo for a YouTube video for more information visit youtube.com slash c slash buona that's probably really loud so i'm going to turn it down to 50 percent just in case uh i deafen you all this is a test demo for a youtube video for more information visit youtube.com slash c slash buona okay i'm gonna click ok to commit this um there's also some other options here I, you can make it go fast if you want <laughs> it's pretty freaking fast or you can go slow this is a test demo for you Woo, that took forever all right so i'm gonna go click ok click ok here and now i have a new command here it says voice disabled but it will be triggered by left uh control and f1 click done and now when i go over to voice attack i have this open i'm gonna hit control f1 this is a test demo for a youtube video for more information visit youtube.com slash c slash warner now this says new command right now, but the best practice is I would come in here and edit this, just double click on it. And I would, uh, I would give it a description, call it, uh, this is a FAQ for YouTube and I'll give it a category called FAQ or something like that. Um, what you could do is when I say, put in some dummy text here, I can call this YouTube fact just to give it a name when it shows up and I'll uncheck that. But now it's called YouTube FAQ. And now when I trigger it again, it should come up in the voice attack window with YouTube FAQ. This is a test demo for a YouTube video. For more information, visit youtube.com slash C slash Werner. Now I can do the same thing here. I can come in here and uh, let's see. I can come in here, edit this, undo the this and then say explain YouTube. And when you do, when you do voice triggers, make sure you do something you don't normally say in a sentence because it could possibly get triggered and go off on its own. All right. So I'm going to enable my headphone mic, which is 
what voice attack is uh is detecting you can see by the, the text here so i'm like i'll do this explain youtube this is a test demo for a youtube video for more information visit youtube.com slash c slash warner and that's all there is to it that is all there is to it guys that is how you can use voice attack to just do an faq to just do a simple uh verb verbiage to to explain something that you commonly do because when you live stream you have to explain stuff a lot many many times and just using this simple key combo and to have voice uh text to speech explain it for you makes your life a lot easier now like i said you can do it via voice trigger or you can do it via a uh a voice command it's up to you how you want to handle it this is born from born.tv really quick tutorial on how to use voice attack to answer frequently asked questions in your stream. Take care, everyone.